going, are you new to growing asparagus and not sure what to do this time of year when your asparagus looks like this? If so, and you want some tips on how to have a healthy, strong asparagus game in the spring, stand by, watch this video, and let's grow. Okay, one thing about asparagus is it's a perennial, which means once you plant it, it's going to continue to come back year after year after year. In fact, once you plant asparagus and the roots take hold and the plant starts to thrive, you're going to have that asparagus plant for decades if you take care of them correctly. You want to harvest asparagus in the springtime. Once the spears are about the diameter of a pencil, maybe a little thicker, that is the optimum time to harvest your asparagus, just like you'd see in the grocery stores. When they look like that, that length and thickness, that's when you wanna harvest asparagus. The rest of the year, your asparagus plant is going to look like a fern, like this, but greener. Which I'll show right here is how the progression of the asparagus plant behind me looked over the duration of 2023, once I planted the plants. Now this stage of growth is incredibly important for the plant itself. During the summer months and into the fall, when you are not harvesting the spears and your plants go to the fern stage, what that's doing is it is allowing all that photosynthesis and all the energy that the plant has used to produce the spears to be replenished into the plant's root system. So as the summer's progressing and just look like a giant fern, that is absolutely vital for your asparagus plants to thrive. Now, as the year progresses and fall and winter comes on, your asparagus plants will start looking like this behind me. They won't be the big green, beautiful, ferny looking plants anymore. They're going to start looking like this. They're gonna go yellow and then brown when they've gone dormant. At this stage right here is when you wanna start cutting them off at the soil level and taking all of this foliage away. Once that's been completed, you're gonna come back over with a good garden soil. And then I like to add a layer of compost to the top of the bed. Then you're just gonna water everything in and wait for the spring temperatures to come along. Now this step is very important that once you add your garden soil or your compost, you can also use manure, whatever you feel comfortable with, hay straw, uh, mulch, whatever. My advice to you is ensure that you have researched the company that you are getting your material from. You do not wanna get graze on in your gardens at all. So I like to use an organic compost as a top layer or a mulch layer to the top of my bed. It just lets nature push the nutrients down into the soil and especially for asparagus they need a good rich vital kick in the springtime to really just start jump starting those spears to grow. All right, everyone, that's it. Once you've completed all these steps, now you're just gonna sit back and wait for spring to hit and those spears to start growing. A tip for harvesting your asparagus is the first year you can harvest a few spears. The second year you can harvest a few more. And by the third year of growth of your asparagus, you should be off to the races harvesting throughout the spring and maybe into the early summer. Follow these tips to ensure that your asparagus game is on point. So if y'all learned anything from this, if you found it educational at all, do me a favor, share it, like it, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. I would absolutely love to have all of you join all of us on this continued journey of gardening together. And everyone take care, God bless, and I'll talk to y'all again real soon.